Hey, greetings everyone. Uh, hey, look what I've got here. Uh, this is another Batmobile-ish vehicle that just came in. Well, uh, not just came in. This is something that I've been working on for the last couple of months. Uh, I First off, I want to thank Tim for being really patient with me while we went through our trials and tribulations here over the holidays. Uh, but here we are. Um, this, uh, what, there's some wires sticking out from the back, and I'll show you why in a second. But uh, the work that I've been doing on this one, I just found a new uh, supplier for, for electronics. And uh, from now on, I'm going to be using, uh, if, if I can't get it local, but uh, I'm going to be using Evan's lighting as a resource from from here on out uh the last couple of projects uh, that that we did with lighting uh were with evan's uh, products and uh they are turning out to be phenomenal uh to work with but um this is uh, i'm not sure what the scale is on this uh i was working with uh some lights that i got excuse me that I got from uh, Intertex here uh, in San Antonio. And uh, those guys don't really know what I'm up to most of the time, you know. I mean, I'm, I try to explain as best I can through my dummy, you know, sort of sensibility about electronics, you know. But uh, they gave me these lights that said that would work. <laughs> I, I know I told them 5 volt. LEDs, but I, I don't know where the mis miscommunication happened, but it's happened a couple of times, you know, and they keep giving me these three volt LEDs. So as soon as I hook them up to the light so to the power source, they they will work for a while. But part of my shakedown, whenever I get the light started up, is uh, I'll I'll run it, run this thing all night if I can, just to see if the lights are gonna stay on and uh, turn on whenever they need to turn on uh, before I send it back out. But the lights didn't last for more than 20 minutes. And every time I would go back, they're like, oh, whoops, uh, we gave you the wrong voltage. Uh, and um, so now uh, going through Evan's lighting, I, I, I know that I'm going to be getting the right LED for the right price and the right uh thing that I'm that I'm working on at the time, you know. So just to give you guys a little example of what we've got from from Evans lighting already. We've got a couple of quick connects and uh this is one of their fire effects. I haven't set it up properly yet, but you can probably see it flashing already with the seam that hasn't been locked down yet, but That is a series of, let me see if I can get a shot in there. That is a series of three LEDs. And if you hold it off this way, that's pretty much the effect that you're gonna get. Um, I'm gonna diffuse that. I'm gonna bunch up those lights so that there's a there's a, a more concentrated pulse in the center, you know, but, but anyway. Um, that's where I'm at with, with this so far. This is this set came from Evans Lighting. Uh, you can find it on the website. Uh, but I believe it's six dollars plus shipping and handling. And uh, I've got one in the Kenner Batmobile, and I've got one in this one uh, set up. But um, I'm just waiting on some new headlights uh, that are going to be coming in soon. I uh, uh, that are going to be set set here down in the uh, headlight area. I found some smaller ones that I can fit right here onto the brow, and I've got another three millimeter right there uh, set up. So this thing's going to have be lit up from the front. Uh, the first time that I ran the lights, I should have known something was up when. They were spotlighting all the way down the hallway here, and uh, they were super bright. I was wondering how, if I was going to have to kind of tune them down a little bit, but turns out I was just running too much voltage through those little tiny, poor, tiny, tiny little LEDs. 
But anyway, guys, uh, this is a quick update on this one. Uh, as soon as the other lights come in, I will uh, post another video once I get those hooked up. I need to uh, reattach the brow, but uh, from here on out, it's just weathering and uh, getting this thing to look a little... Uh, well, I've started... Well, let me see. It's pretty subtle right now, but I have started here, and you can probably see some of the, the, the edges here that I've, that I've worked on. I still need to come over here and do some, uh, some of that, that work, but the top here, this area, this has already got some kind of road dirt already uh, locked in on it. Uh, I'm just going to check to see how, well, I'm probably not going to go any heavier than that, but I'm just going to work on getting uh, this these doors uh, matched up along with that. This, this thing, uh, this thing needs to be uh, light blocked a little better and uh, flattened out but I also just need to add a little bit of weathering to that uh, just to get it ready but this is about 80% done um, but anyway uh, I will post another video on this one again soon you guys have fun take care uh, let me run through my script if I had one I would say uh, if you like what you see please feel free to hit like subscribe and to hit the bell for a notification whenever I post a video uh, what we do have coming up pretty soon I do have some more Hasbro repaints and I've got another Kenner uh, 1990 Batmobile update that I want to do uh, that will hopefully showcase the the finished product that as, as it will be going back home to its forever uh, home uh, but uh, you guys have fun. Take care. Peace out. We will see you again. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, don't be rude. I mean, that's all. I mean, don't, don't give me an excuse to be a jerk. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you guys have fun. Take care. Peace out. And I will see you again. Thank you.